Greetings everybody, Brodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Project Zomboid, Guy on Fire, Episode 2, Guy's Castle. It's very challenging to like, when there's multiple targets, sometimes your stomp isn't really just a, it's not really a stomp. It's like a, it's just ineffective. I don't know how else to explain it, but I'm sure you've seen it multiple times. So that's what's really scary is when you have multiple zombies, more than two, it becomes really challenging to stomp them. And as you've seen, when I swing my bat, I hit for like two damage. So it would take 75 swings basically. <clears throat> And, and it would be a downward spiral because each swing exhausts me further. So I probably couldn't baseball bat a zombie to death. If I, if, I, if I can single out a single zombie and I know that there's no other zombies, I can try to show you what a swing looks like again. Where I'm not panicked or anything, but it's pretty awful. Uh, I should have left the, left the jackets over there. I'm like encumbered already. I'll probably end up putting the jackets in this bar. Here's to staying at two deaths. Thanks. Is it worth going back to the bar? Yes. Absolutely yes, because the bar I know is safe and secured loot where I don't have to die to get it, whereas anywhere else runs the risk of there being two or more, or three or more zombies that could kill me. Go for the safe loot than the loot that could kill you. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of this bat, actually, because right now, for this trip, I'm just gonna be bringing over, um, fresh produce. The stuff that's gonna spoil first. Because if, uh, I, I, I can leave the dried goods here, knowing that they're just here for later. They're not going anywhere. Let's get rid of some of the extra clothing I have. Lower that carry weight down. I'm still violently encumbered. Just a fairly heavy load. If I eat to bring my strength up, I can increase my carrying capacity a little bit more. So I'll just snack. There we go. Carrying capacity well fed. Does carrying weight affect move speed? It does. But given how slow I am, not by much. So I have a minus 15% speed right now. And my trip chance goes up, my climb chance goes down, that kind of stuff. Which is why I'm just snacking on the small stuff, wandering back over. My weight's stable. Oh, my bandages, they're gonna have to wait. Ugh, the neck. It's the worst. I'm officially stuffed. Hey, Kakata, thanks for the resub. Welcome to the struggle bus. So I definitely have mixed feelings about living with so many uh, trees around me. The benefit, of course, is that it obscures line of sight. And the setback or drawback is it obscures line of sight. I hide from zombies easier, but I don't get to see the zombies early. All right, refrigerator. So little that I can carry in one trip. I should have grabbed a trash bag. I don't know, that's a good 10, ten kilos of food. That's not terrible.
The other thing I could do is uh, get rid of some of these water bottles, just run lighter on the water, keeping other water bottles for uh, for storage. All right, let's try to do this neck wound. Okay, that hurt badly, but I'm alive. Do I have a pot here for boiling? I might not. Okay. I don't think I do. Well, let's go for another trip. So, let me, uh... I think what I'm gonna do is just lose all of my carry, basically. Going bare minimum. Knowing that I'm coming back. I'll just bring, uh, some cherries. How'd I get covered in bandages? It was, uh, uh I started burned. I started as a burn ward uh, victim. Burn ward patient. You begin the game covered head to toe in burns. Might as well get some foraging experience. I do think these woods are a little bit cleared out as I've been through them multiple times. Maybe not clear, but a little safer than before. My weight is dropping, but I'm staying well fed, which is good, because I'm eating fruits and veggies and not uh, prepackaged meals with high, uh, high fat or high cal uh, calorie ratios. Let's see if I can get a garbage bag to speed this uh, process up a little bit more. Yarp. Good. Uh, chipstone. Stick in the trash. Nothing like picking up a random stone in the forest and throwing it out. Because that makes a lot of sense. Alright, what else do I want? I would like the baseball bat wouldn't be terrible for me to take. The box of nails, obviously, clutch. Um, the leather jacket's going to be pretty important. And then the sheet... Thread. Then things I can eat. So peanut butter, mac and cheese, other garbage bags. Coffee. I am just about maxed. Is there two songs playing right now? Yes. A game. One song at a time is enough. <laughs> uh, I don't know how to fix that. Remix. It doesn't sound terrible, but it's obviously uh, bugged behavior. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Red DJ is better. Thanks. I, I I do love the soundtrack to Project Zomboid, which and I love how it's wired into Danger, which is why I haven't tried to replace it because I wouldn't be able to replicate that easily.
almost home. So, my exertion's going up, so I'll probably, this will be the last shipment for today. I'm gonna take it easy and read some tailoring and I hope I hope to find a needle soon so I could actually start improving and, and scissors so I can improve clothing. My bandages aren't so bad. Most of them are clean. Wouldn't be a terrible idea to strip these guys of all their bandage potential as well. It's just so I have a, an abundance of bandages. Did I bring a pot? Uh, I did not because, you know, fail. It's doing two songs again. I might, uh, I might actually reboot the game. Because... It doesn't sound bad yet, but it's probably going to start to sound bad. Well, we'll see. I feel like it's necessary, I will. Now, I'd like to, uh, one more task for me to do is to go to another house next door and try to take curtains so I can cover up all my windows and not just some. That'd be a, a big improvement. Because I'm almost fully hidden. And a cooking pot. I'm going to switch bedrooms, though. Because this window is broken. And I'm going to switch to the other bedroom. So that means... Removing all the stuff in the shelves as well. So that I don't have to re-enter this bedroom again. I don't think there was a cooking pot at the bar. I don't think I, I actually have one yet. I may be mistaken, but I believe that's the case. Yeah, the two deaths... One was rather unavoidable, one was very avoidable. So one of the deaths is definitely on me, where um, I accidentally started patching up my neck. Even though I acknowledged verbally I shouldn't and didn't want to. But it was a bit too late. I was already... Uh, expired. Alright, Houston's house says there's no cooking pot at the bar. Good. Thank you for remembering for me. It makes my life a lot easier. I'm getting a little tired. Definitely fatigued. Let's grab the bandages and rip sheets. And get this cleaned up. I'm cleaning the burns now, so they'll heal faster. But I get more hurt doing it. Neck's already done, which is great. That's the that's the tough one. Okay, give me a second, I'm just gonna reboot, because uh, the double soundtrack is now driving me a little batty. Having to listen to two songs at once is getting a little weird. Too weird. Has anyone had that happen to them? Uh, sterilized bandages reduce your infection rate. I don't believe it helps you heal, but cleaning out the burns helps it heal faster. You want some peanuts? There you go. Oh, you thought you had a stream on in the background? So yeah, at least it's not me. At least it's not just me. Because I'm really not really running any mods that would do that. So this is very much like a everything is needs tending to 
And I have to keep a close eye on my health, lest I die again. Almost done. All right. I am not tired enough to go to sleep, given my pain level, so I have 19 spare things. Let's mosey on over to my new bedroom. Oh, uh, I need a book. Was there a mention of some sound fixes in uh, 4168? Yeah, you know, I haven't read it, but yeah, that's probably what this is. Also, I'm about to be able to read intermediate uh, first aid because of all the aid that I've I've done to myself. Well, let's stick with tailoring for now until I do tick up. Some limey lettuce. It's like good Vietnamese food, I suppose. All right, I'm nice and well fed. I'll heal a little faster while I'm sleeping. I'm not going to go to sleep just yet, though. I'm going to read a little. Still can't go to sleep. So the reason I can't go to sleep is when you're in agony, which is the level of pain I have, um, you have to be ridiculously tired to go to sleep. Now I'm ridiculously tired. All right, crossing the fingers. Allow me to wake up. First aid skill does help with the healing rate. As far as I'm aware, I believe that is the case. Oh man, my left forearm actually might be healed from the burn. Cause it's uh, it's clean, which usually indicates that it it, it could be healed. I'll check that actually right now. Yeah, it's healed. My uh, one burn healed so far. Awesome. Now the others uh, might take a lot longer. So I'll do the neck first. Disinfect. And bandage. Ding! And there goes my health. I'm keeping an eye on it this time. Let's clean some bandages. And it will just be continuing to move stuff from the bar. Actually, no, I think I'm good moving stuff from the bar. I think what I'm going to do is start to explore the neighborhood here. So let me update that. Explore the neighborhood carefully. Let me hide some of these menus so I have a better view. Oh, don't give me the you're gonna die music. I don't like that. So here's a two-story home, which would be 
if I had a sledgehammer, a little bit more secure. Even without a sledgehammer, it'd be a little bit more secure because I can um, sheet rope out a window. So it wouldn't be a terrible idea to try to move in there. I don't think it's all that urgent. I can't use sheet ropes until I have a hammer. So it's a little moot until I've got a hammer. I do have nails, though. It's a little eerily empty. I'm sketched. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to leave if as long as the house alarm doesn't trigger. I'm going to leave the uh, the drapes here, knowing that I might move in. Or rather, do you think I should move in immediately? Should I start to move into the two-story now or later? I'll just ask you guys. Once it's cleaned out. And if it has all the uh, all all the trimmings that we need, like um, stove and all that, I believe it does. Eat my lavish radish. So they have some canned goods. Ah, oh, they have a cooking pot. Nice. So I'm already... Fresh milk, banana. Let's get that in the fridge immediately. I'm starting to boil for sterilized stuff. Hey, JD, thanks for the resub, man. So we'll need one sheet for the front door. There is no TV there, but I'm not... Oh, metal work for beginners. Oh, I don't even need that. I am need X, uh, advanced. Straight to advanced. Uh, right, Let's check upstairs. Just a razor. Minimalistic bathroom. Little storage cabinet with a saw, duct tape, and sneakers. Okay, so this guy's a serial killer. Got it. And then a much nicer bedroom than my last home. Okay, I am going to update, move into the two-story. Okay, you got it. I'll start to move some stuff. I like this home. It's small, but comfortable. And it has a pot. Which may make a world of difference. So I'm ditching everything but the water. And let's start moving some stuff over. I'm very uncomfortable with how empty the neighborhood is. It makes me very worried that the zombies are, um... are glomming together in big hordes instead of smaller crowds. Every time you see the garden gnome, the little lawn gnome, you think it's a, a zombie? 
God, it weighs four pounds. That's a quarter of my max carry weight. Or a third. I'll grab it, but I'll grab it later. I've got more important things to grab for now. So this trip will be curtains and the like. To secure the new house a little bit better. Radio. I don't think it had a can opener. Maybe it did, but I'll take that anyway. Now this is going to uh, encumber me a lot, but I'm just going to make like a big trip. Because I, I have a feeling the immediate area is relatively cleared out. Alright, so that's most of everything. So I'm moving at 60... 35... Oh God, I'm barely moving at all. Now, the other issue with being as encumbered as I am is uh, I'm doing damage to my body, which makes it harder to then bandage up. So, obviously, more trips um, of less encumbrance is probably better, but it's also so much more time-consuming. So, I'd rather just do it in one big heave-ho. So, I am all curtained up. I think you can freeze eggs and it's fine, as odd as it sounds. I'm not really going to do any organization here. Just a, just dumping everything. And then let's recover the sterile bandages and sterilize regs and tend to self. Okay. Looking good. <sighs> I am fairly encumbered. Or fairly uh, tired, exerted. So another trip is probably not in the cards. But I have a, I have a decent amount of supplies here. Oh, not the neck. <sighs> All right, here it goes. Oh, my lord. Ow. <laughs> Much ow. <laughs> ow. That is horrible. All right, where'd my book go? 
Where's the book? There's a saucepan here that I should probably fill up in case I lose water. Eh, I'm going to start reading the first aid instead of the tailoring. I'll actually benefit it from it. Pop in a squat, do him some reading until I get tired enough for some sleep. I'm going to wait a little bit before um, tending to these things. Alright, here we go. I should be getting a little bit more experience now. Nice and clean. Sterilize everything. Keep my food up. How's my weight dropping? Cool. Did I miss a puppy treat? Uh, did I? I don't know, but here's some extra puppy treats. Hey, Yoda, you got some treats there. I guess with the windows uh, covered, it doesn't... Oh, is there windows up here that I haven't covered yet? Yeah. All right, let me go get a sheet before... I, I mean, I'm, I'm not tired enough to go to sleep, but... Uh, I'm going to bring my sheets up so that I... I can cover all the windows. In the case I get snacky, some peanut butter. Nothing like some midnight peanut butter. Is the leg broken? No, I'm just uh, covered in burns head to toe. I started covered in burns as part of a challenge. I've actually not been injured in this run yet by zombies. So all the injuries I have, I started with. Alrighty. Looking good. All right. Experiencing too much pain. I am going to be right back. I need to run to the real life bathroom. But uh, maybe Yoda will keep you company. Wasn't that just for, like, real life? I get up to go to the bathroom and I come back and my groin is dirty. That's just wrong.
Still not tired enough to go to sleep yet. Thank you for keeping them company, Mr. Yoda. So reading up on more first aid techniques is in order. Keeping the uh, burn sterilized and cleaned. Oh man, so many of them. Uh, they're all going, it's a cascade effect. Still not tired enough. I guess it's time to clean these bandages. Uh, do I know of any issues streaming this game with OBS Studio? Nope, because that's what I'm using. If you'd like help troubleshooting, uh, join my Discord, and I can... I won't be... I'll be able to troubleshoot at some point. I'm not sure exactly when, because once I'm done, I'll have to start cooking dinner and all that jazz, but... But there's other people on Discord that might be able to help you, too. Alright, I am ridiculously tired now, so I am tired enough to go to sleep. Let me just do my shins here. And head on up. The only issue that you might have with OBS Studio is OBS, uh, so the way that authentications or the uh, application protocol interface worked with Twitch changed as of March 1st. So if you haven't updated your software, I would do that first. There we go. Let's hope we wake up in the morning or in the late afternoon, I suspect. So yeah, if you're having problems with OBS, update because... Um, that could be the issue. You can also go to the the PZ forums. So I am depressed and and extremely bored, which I'm gonna want to remedy. Uh, I believe there was a book downstairs. Also, some of this peanut butter is gonna help with the unhappiness. Yep, there's a book. I'm gonna read the other periodicals first. Try to clear the boredom. My guy hasn't gone out in a, in a while. Okay, just a little sad. I am gonna try to do the medical outside, I think. For the sake of, uh, not being super bored. But I'd also like to check the right hand. Not burned anymore. The torso, not burned anymore. The foot, not burned anymore. The neck, not burned anymore! Yes! That neck injury was the worst. And now I'm clean of it. We are healing, guys. It's only been four days, so it's actually remarkably quick. I've done a few of these as preparation, obviously not enough, because this is my third attempt. Uh, but I think part of it is like keeping myself... Oh, the groin got clean too. Keeping myself very well fed and tended to uh, speeds this up considerably. So I'm still limping around, I'm still very slow, I'm vulnerable. I might be just about the speed of a zombie now. But, you know, there's a risk of them overtaking me. I still have to be careful about that. The other thing I need to start doing is we're heading into the possibility of um, getting visited by a happy little helicopter. So I need to make a, a point of... Um... point of listening for that.
I believe, yeah, I turned the volume all the way down. And we'll catch that at the top of the hour. Clear skies. Did I just whiz past the... No, it should still... I guess I whizzed past the report there. Yeah, I'm not losing most of my health, but most of that is just the stupid net wound that was um, so unbelievably hard to deal with. So now that... Uh, let me put these sheets away. Now that I'm in a, a slightly better position, uh, I'm going to ask you about what I do today. So, what should I be doing? Moving more stuff into the second story. Exploring the neighborhood. Um, or viewer suggestions. If you have suggestions, I'll open up my channel point suggestion box and have you uh, submit your own. I think if I want to find gas, I need to be a little bit more mobile. I need to be a little bit faster on my feet. I don't think it's safe for me to go to a gas station right now because it'd be very easy for me to be overtaken and uh, and eaten. Everything gets a lot easier when you can walk away from uh, zombies fast. So I'm going to start on exploring the neighborhood because that's the popular option here. And let's see what's out there for me. So I'll head east to the next house. I already see two zombies over there. See if there's any good magazines in these mailboxes. I'm going to put uh, one more minute on this timer or on the poll for you to vote. Engineering magazine for stoke bombs? Okay. Something I'll never use. Thank you for tuning in to Project Zomboid Guy on Fire, which originally streamed live on Twitch March 8th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com or the description of this video have a link to Discord. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you all next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell.